Okay, for the top one here, again, we want to find out what K is. What do you think, what do you see in here? It's like the reverse. It's the reverse. Yeah, you should see it's the reverse of this losing a proton. Is that okay? So it goes from two protons to one. So what K is this? Going backwards, K, A, not one. It's losing the second proton. So it's K2. So uh, the reverse reaction is Ka2, and then it's to the negative one because it's going backwards. Is that kind of okay? So you know it's um, it's a Ka2 because H2C6, H5O7 uh -huh. is already a minus, so you know it's lost a hydrogen already. Exactly. And then it's the reverse of it losing its second. Hydrogen. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. neutral will be H3. Okay. Thank you. Okay. If we go with that, the second one's harder. Awesome. So, uh, what does the second one look like? What's the polyprotic we're working with here? How many hydrogens would it have? The original would be H2C2O4. That's the original. Do you see if I, this is missing two H's or this is missing one H? So now what I, the way I do it, I look, okay, in terms of, there's a couple things to look at, I guess. One is going from here to here, we're losing one proton. So it's kind of like a Ka2, sort of. We're losing the second proton yeah. of the two it had originally. But... <laughs> In contrast to this one up here, which is the reverse of an acid equation, this is the forward of a base equation. So it's a Kb. This is actually a Kb. Because you see it's a base equation. Okay, well, we only know Ka's, so I have to put this in terms. Okay, so this would be Kw over Ka. But the big Kw is a constant. The big question is, which Ka are we talking about? Well, we already figured out that it's losing its last proton going in reverse. And its last proton, so that'd be Ka2, the second, second one. So it's the forward reaction is the Kb, which is Kw over Ka2. This one it's kind of similar, it's over Ka2, but it's just the reverse of an acid, so we don't need Kw or anything like that. Yeah? Okay, well, why did you say, oh, because it's over under Kw? Okay, fine. Okay. Like, that's why there isn't a, um, to the negative one, right? Yeah, I mean, really, there is a negative one, it's Kw times Ka2 to the minus one. Yeah. We... And we use the formula Kw equals Ka, Kb. And we use that formula anytime there's conjugates. And here, uh, you know, we're talking about conjugates because we're going in a base reaction. So it's the conjugate was for the acid to be losing its second proton. But in this case, the base is picking up its first proton. So it's, it's the reverse of the Ka2, but it's also a base equation. So we did something like both of these when we were doing stuff today. Because I think the first reaction was 1 over Ka something. The second reaction was a base reaction, and it was also the reverse. Should I do another one? Is that weird enough to do it? Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, on this level, it would be, let's see... Uh, SO4 2 minus plus H2O goes to HSO4 2 minus, oh, minus 1, plus OH minus. Okay, now we're looking at it again. It's not the reverse of an acid reaction, it's a base reaction. A base is the base plus water goes to the whatever plus OH minus. So this is a general reaction for a base, so I know it's going to be a Kb. 
KB equals something. Yeah, the general reaction for a base, I'll put it up here, is, uh, let's say, A minus plus water goes to HA plus OH minus. So you need to know, be really familiar with the general reaction of an acid and base. This is a general reaction for a base, so it's a KB something. Uh, this, originally it was the, this acid, H2SO4. That's the neutral form. So that acid has two protons, so it's a polyprotic acid. Okay, so we know Kb is Kw over some Ka. If we could just figure out that Ka, just like we did in the bottom case, we'd be set. So in the reverse way, this going to this is which Ka? Which, the second loss of the proton. So it's losing its second proton going this direction. So going this direction as a base, it's Kw over Ka2. Yeah? Again, the second loss of protons. Uh, second loss of protons. So for example, the first loss of the proton would make sulfuric acid look like that. The second loss of the proton makes it look like this. So you can see going backwards, it's the second. Okay. So the, or the second proton is lost would be another way to say it. And so that's why it's related to Ka2. Is that a value you want Yeah, the Ks, at least in your textbook, you can look them all up. And on Wikipedia, whatever. So, uh, just to do one more, if I wrote... Uh, say I wrote this. You have to look, is this an acid equation or a base equation? Acid. This one's an acid equation. When it ends with this, that's an acid equation. So now we're talking about the normal Ka something. So this is Ka, and now you just have to figure out which proton, what number proton is being lost here. It's the third one. So this is Ka3, because the original compound was H3PO4. First loss of the proton is HP, H2PO4 minus. Second loss is HPO4 2 minus. And third loss is PO4 3 minus. Is that kind of okay? Yeah. So we have to figure out if it's an acid or base equation. Acid equation, if it's written forward, it would be this. Reverse is just one over that. If it's a base equation, you got to do the Kb, Kb equals Kw over something. And that Ka something depends on which movement of the proton we're having. Okay, kind of okay. I know it's weird. Okay.